Having carefully considered the provision of Section K, Subsection 1 of the Matrimonial Causes Act, which in summary states that petition for divorce shall be made upon the ground that a marriage has broken down irretrievably. Look at this one I'm rooting for. Fred. Fred. Fred! What is this nonsense? Will you can, can we get the fuck out of this place? Do you want us to miss our flight? Having carefully deliberated on the merit of this petition, the evidence in support, answer and cross petition. This court has come to a conclusion that though the two parties have clearly deep-rooted unresolved issues. Wait, what do you mean by you forgot our passport? What you didn't forget to carry five Bibles? It will be unduly hasty to grant an outright order for the dissolution of the marriage. These parties have clearly displayed general childish intolerance for basic human behavior and in my opinion, needs to grow up. There is no way I will allow you put all these bags in this car. Who got the shirt on your back? Who bought it? It is on this note that the court orders a compulsory marriage counseling by a certified therapist approved by both parties. If at the end of this therapy session, the parties remain adamant and unwilling to mend bridges, then this court shall reconvene for a final judgment. I used to know that you're no more here. I've been so crazy. Yeah. When I got so far away. Take me higher, higher through the mountains. I want to be higher. Take me higher, higher to the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher, higher to the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my Papa, it is true, the time has changed. The memories, I used to know that you're no more here. I've been so crazy. When I got so far away, take me higher, higher through the mountains. I want to be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher. Wow. This is such a beautiful place. Oh, nice. I love it. <laughs> Gosh, I can't wait to just dive into their swimming pool. That place looks quite beautiful. What's going on? I've been trying to call that the Jew. I need to let the church know I landed safely. Why is it not connecting? Oh. Tom, can I, can I use your phone? I don't know the network. I don't know if it's my network. Fred, VCOM doesn't work here. I'm sure mm. your daddy Jew does not teach you people this kind of simple things when he teaches the sermon they preach to you people. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I'm going to hold my patience, I will do that, and I'm going to fast, I'll fast all through my stay here, all through this ride with, with the devil, I'm going to, even you, you will not make me sin, you won't, I'll hold my patience. Go 
What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Huh? The fact that we are forced to stay in the same room together doesn't mean we have to sleep on the same bed. So yes, I brought my bed. That's the play area and this is mine. You're not allowed to cross it. Okay. You know, it's funny how you make it seem like sleeping on the same bed with you is so pleasurable. Forgetting that the past six years being on the same bed with you is nothing short of horrible. Horrible is being married to a man like you. Are you serious? <laughs> Me, horrible. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, keep it up. Keep it up. I understand the therapist's point of view. The fact that we are ending this does not mean that we should tear each other down. I'm sorry for my outburst earlier on. But please, Tiny, please, for the sake of God, allow me to live in peace in this room. Please. Do not turn me into a crazy housemate or a crazy roommate. Please, let's live in peace. Let's be exemplary. I also want us to see... Are you done? I'm not. Actually, you are. Turn off the lights. I need to sleep. I said I'm not done. <clears throat> really? Choose. You have no right to sit me down and talk to me like I'm a school child. You don't. Whether you try to frustrate me into being the one to buy you a ticket to this town, or whether you ensure that I do not leave for Tarkot with all my luggages, or whether you try to talk in low tone, I don't know if what you're doing is an apology because I don't see you taking responsibility for being the idiot you've been over the years. You and I will have this divorce. Okay? So quit whining and turn off the light. Pick a side of the bed. I need to sleep. You see? You see? You see? Tiny! You see when you're talking to me? Just listen to how you're talking to me. You see, this, this, this is the reason that men beat women. Look at you! Just look at you! Same beating that led your mom to an early grave. Alright, turn off the light. I'm Dr. Judge, and I'll take care of your physical, emotional, and psychological uh, life I'm, while you're here. I, I, I'm sorry. Are you a shrink? Not exactly. Because I'm actually tired of them. This is Africa. This thing doesn't work like this. Well, I am not. Thank God. You know, when two people live together for a long time in a relationship um, mm -hmm. and they're not happy, they would want to opt out. I mean, it's natural, isn't it? And I'm sure that's why you're here. Hmm? But then, uh, if it gets to a point where they want to break it up, a little push will be well worth it, eh? Okay. I don't know about anybody here. And in all honesty, I don't care about what anybody thinks. But if this guardian is to get me and this woman get back together, it's a failed mission. It will never work. I've been to court. They recommended that I get a shrink. I appealed against it, of course. But my appeal was to no avail. But that's fine. If this shrink has insisted that spending seven days of my life with this woman will get me my freedom. I'm sure, why not? I'll do it. But what I will not tolerate is anybody 
in the process of getting me and this woman to live under the same roof. Start mediating in issues that you know nothing about. No, I will not tolerate that. This marriage is not going to work. I'm done! Mm. At least they agree on something. Oh, progress. <laughs> 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 the thing is, they want us to go for some therapeutic session downstairs. We are five minutes late, Ken. And truly, I don't want to be there. Oh, I miss you too. I miss you so, so much. I wish you were here with me and I have the whole bed to myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, baby. Don't. Don't try to get Uncle Danju hard. Uncle Danju is sleeping right now. Please, let's not go there. No, 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 no. He's sleeping. He doesn't want to get hard, okay? What? Certainly not. I would not do that without evil woman I call a wife. Never. I would never do that. Trust me, I got you. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, now I have her attention. Awesome. <laughs> Listen, Ken. I don't care about how you, how, what you do in your private life, okay? And I truly feel sorry for whoever's on the phone with you, all right? But Ken, we came here for a purpose. And unless you like wrapping me around as your wife, you have to focus on what I Is that why you have to pour water on me? Is that why? My problem with you is not the fact that our marriage is not working. It's the fact that you refuse to see that you are an evil person. What is wrong with you? Ken. Dress up and let's go. I am not going. Fuck therapy. You hear me? Fuck that therapy. Shit. Ken. Can you imagine? Ken. It's your woman, right? So if I may ask. What did she do? Well, to put it mildly, I married the devil. <laughs> uh, you married the devil. <laughs> My brother. I put it to you that your woman cannot be as bad as mine. Tiny. Tiny. That's the name of my wife. Tiny has lost every respect she has for me and even herself. Oh, this is a woman that constantly tears down my ego. Bro, this is a woman that is not satisfied with anything I do. This is a woman that has a book where she jots down and she keeps tab of, of every single thing I have done for her, my wife. Ah, oh, bro. What's the name again? Uh, Fred, right? Fred. Fred. I put it to you again that there is no way on earth that your woman is as bad as mine. Ah, oh, tiny. Oh. As much as we cannot decipher who is bad or not. I'll be honest with you, bro. I will choose your wife 300 times over mine. How can I be married to a woman who hates God? A God I love. 
absolutely. How can I be married to a woman who, who shreds the Bible, bonds them, pees on them, and then at one point, cost God? How? Mm-hmm. Wait, I... I don't understand. Why? Why? Mm. Did, did God do something bad to her or something? I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is that she has decided to wage a personal battle with me. And I'm tired of fighting. I am. I am tired. I'm glad we all come today. Yesterday was like a raging storm. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to explain to you before my duties, but I now have to tell you. My duties are to help couples who have consciously decided to break up. I know that uh, very soon you will all be uh, clawing at your throat, screaming down uh, each other, and then uh, trying to claw each other. But then, but if you've all decided to end it, this fight no longer makes sense. I know the blames are about to erupt. Uh, he said, you said, remember, it takes two to tango. What is expected from grown men who have decided to end things with their partners is to get to a place where their partner's actions no longer hurt them. Of course, I understand that uh, you've all been to the courts and then uh, the judges have sent you back to the therapist. You want your freedom, especially when there are no cases of infidelity, battery listed in your suit. You get it peacefully. Since you want your freedom, you can I swear well have it peacefully? I can I swear well have it peacefully? What's this rubbish? You think this is Bible study, yeah?
me higher, higher through the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher, higher through the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher, higher through the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. The time has changed The memories I used to know There are no more here I've been so crazy When I got so far away Take me higher Higher through the mountains I wanna be higher Higher than my problems Take me higher Higher through the mountains, I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher, higher through the mountains, I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. <laughs> you ladies are looking so bright and beautiful. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Yeah, I had so much fun yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I, I hope you didn't um, feel bad with those um, activities, adrenaline activities with your soon-to-be ex-houses. Well, I didn't care who I went with. Mm -hmm. I had fun. I had so much fun. Wow. Mm -hmm. At least something good came out of this trip. I agree. <laughs> really? Tamara, uh, did you have your usual fights? Oh, no. Absolutely not. Really? Look, I had so much fun. In fact, I drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. I even looked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you did. <laughs> now, ladies, you see how wonderful it is for you to believe in your own activities for you to love your activities for you to have fun with yourselves but when it comes to what you don't like what the other person is doing aha, you begin to bring in the use I'm, I'm sorry but you see this particular talk i'm actually not ready for it on the contrary sweetheart no I'm just here to help you transition to your breakup. If you get to understand exactly why your marriage broke up, it's better to help you transition to your new relationship. And then it's in your best interest, isn't it? Well, I think you have a point. Aha, good. Now, you're going to have another conversation with your <laughs> soon-to-be. No, it, it's just a conversation for you to understand why your present marriage broke up. Isn't it better for you? Because it will help you in your next relationship so that you know where you failed. But to what end? He never listens. Ah, <laughs> darling, you never listened yourself. <laughs> ah, but you're going to have the conversations anyway. And in this case, you have to have your emotions in check and your reasonings intact. And you have to put away the blame game of you did this, you didn't do this, you liked this, you didn't like this. And then we elevate the I, the consciousness, I consciousness, I of taking responsibility. 
I didn't do this. I did that. I wanted to do this. All right? And that will help you come to ah, a very peaceful foreclosure. All right, ladies? <laughs> Cheers. Um, I feel, oh shit, we need to talk about the issues we have in marriage. No, we, we, we need to come clean. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, baby. See you. Yes, you asked to see me. Never mind. Tama, I'm not ready to have any conversations with you because I know how your conversations go. As you can see, I'm still fasting. So you wait until I'm done fasting. Then we can talk. I'm not ready to fight with you and offend my God. Won't do it. So, you want to go shopping? Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? No, but it's part of it. Are we here to shop? Eh? Did we come here to shop? Oh wait, what are you trying to do? Is it that you just throw it in my face for the 500th time that you're richer than me? Stop raising your voice at me, I don't like it. What's all this? Who comes to this town and not shop? Tiny, listen to me. I will not be dragged to the mall with you. Walking aimlessly. Watching you price down people's goods. I'm definitely not plowing that route with you. Okay? I'm not excited about shopping with you either. But you and I know the rules. I don't have a choice. The rule says that whatever I do, you do. We have to do things together. I mean, what do I do with all the money in my bag? If you want to shop, plan another trip. I'm not leaving this room. Father Lord, I thank and glorify your holy name because you are Lord. Ancient of days, as old as you are, you remain the same. You are the King of Kings. You are the I am that I am. The mighty man in battle. The Amatarius. The Elohim. The Elohim. The Adonai. Lord, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for allowing me to see a brand new day. Father, I say in any way the devil is trying to take away happiness from me. Father, I say Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let nothing come in between me and my happiness. Let nothing come in between me and how I serve and worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, grant me the peace of mind that I desire. The peace of mind that I need to worship you in spirit and in calmness. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, for all I've sinned and fallen short of that glory. Father, I ask in any way that I have sinned against you, Father Lord, forgive me, for I am just but human in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord, that you grant me my heart desires. Peace. Hold on. Yes, 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 that is coming. 
Hey honey. Hey honey. Hey honey. Hey honey. Hey honey. I miss you. Oh my god. Look at you. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Mm. 360, 360, 360, 360. I miss you, baby. I miss you so much. You look so good. Thank you. Oh, this for me? <laughs> what? Baby. Yeah, I know. This doesn't look peaceful. I hope you have not been rude to her. Me? Ah, I beg, I've not been rude to anybody. You. I don't want trouble. <laughs> you know what? What? I've missed you. I've missed you too. A whole lot. And truthfully, I have not been able to get the thought of she being with you out of my head. Even if we sleep on the same bed, nothing is going to happen because I only have thoughts for you. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, does it mean that we're going to get a room? Well, I was going to get that for our privacy. Baby, baby, don't, don't do that. But the rule says that both of us need to sleep in this room, this exact room together. <laughs> But she, she doesn't care. She won't mind. No, 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 baby, no. That's disrespectful. Disrespectful to my ex that I'm in a relationship? That I have a girlfriend? Baby, I need this freedom so you can stop accusing yourself of dating a married man. For you see, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Father, wherever they are and anything that they are trying to do to demonize me and bring me down and break my spirit to worship you, oh Lord. I reject it in the mighty name of Jesus. For you, my Lord and my God, I refuse to accept it in the mighty name of Jesus. You said that the kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the violence will take it by force. Father Lord, I remain on the altar. I remain on that altar, and I pray that, oh Lord, you grant me, you strengthen my spirit to worship you to the day I die. Of Jesus, for I will worship you till I die. I love you, oh God, and I'll continue to worship you. Anywhere the devil is trying to break, to bring in, to bring in this harmony in my life, to bring in, to make me to lose my faith in you, Father, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, I thank you as of this for us. All as you are, you remain the same. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Why you would choose this dump star over my car? But it's okay. To soon be over. And you, driver, what's all this? Why are you taking us in circles? On our way here, it didn't even take us up to 10 minutes to get to the mall. And now it's your turn. It's up to 30 minutes. And we're not even where we're going. Oga, okay. explain to your wife. Yes, you just said to traffic day day. Traffic day everywhere for a year. Oh, you think we're fools now? You think I don't know your gimmicks in this town? Because you think we're novice, you want to make more money from us. You want to extort us. I got a question your wife. I get a wife for her, so I'll be married man. Clearly, somebody must be married to a man like you to, for you to have this pumped up ego that you have. Madam, should I drop you here? I can't go where I can you from. Try it. Mr. Driver, try it. <laughs> try it if I don't give you a dirty slap. Eh? Okay. Tell your wife, if she slap me, I will slap her back. Before we go, hmm. if I say slap, you don't go slap her back. Try, man. I go, I, will, I, will, I will slap you back. Back this car. Back this car! I don't hear. Back! You have everything okay, back, I touch, back, you never back, back. were. <laughs> and nothing like a touch you could have been. Trust still you live inside of me. So tell me how is that? You're the only one I wish I could forget. The only one I love to not forgive. And though you break my heart, you're the only one. And though there are times <laughs> when I hate you, cause I can't erase the times that you hurt me and put tears on my face. And even now, why I hate you, it pains me. Oh, to Lord. Say, oh Lord, how 
excellent is your name. How power. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. You can never, never fail. Can never, never fail. Can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever. Fred, what, what is this? What is this rubbish? If you want to do this stupid, stupid prayer, why don't you just go into the bathroom and 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 pray quiet? What what, what is what, what is what is all this rubbish? Huh? What is all this? Can't you just have peace? What do you want? What do you want? What If you are not tired of incessant fighting, raising of voices, calling of names, I am tired of it. I am. And I can't wait for this hell hole to end. I can't wait. Tama, I, I, I don't know exactly what it is that you are so bitter and angry about, but God! I am grateful that the end is near. And I'll be correcting the worst decision I've ever made in my life as a Christian. Because you are sick. No, you are a very sick woman. And truthfully, death is a better call than this. This misery you're living in. And I'm so grateful. I am grateful to God that no child came out of this bitter soul of yours. Baby, I love you, okay? God is in control, okay? I love you. some documents, she needs blood transfusion. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, is my wife okay? Is my child okay? Well, for now, they are fine, but we need to sign some documents. Doctor, doctor. Is there no other way? How do you mean? It's, it's against my belief, okay? It's a sin. I, how can we... Can you find another way, please? Well, and in that case, we still need to put pen to papers indicating that the transfusion wasn't done due to your insistence. That's fine. So tell me okay. how he is. Okay. The only one Thank you. I wish I could forget. The only one I love to not forgive. And though you break my heart, you're the only one. And though there are times <laughs> when I hate you, cause I can't erase the times that you hurt me and put tears on my face. And even now, why? I don't 
What was I supposed to do? We were asked to stay in the same room together. Why does she care who I'm with? I don't care who you're with, Ken. I don't fucking care who you're with, okay? It's all about respect and really? principle. Really? 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 I know this is hard for you. <laughs> this is also very hard for me. But look, it's just a matter of a few days. And there is no court in Nigeria that will deny me this divorce. So just, it's always the woman's fault. When something goes wrong in a marriage, it's always the woman to be blamed. This is your fault. Oh, I can't do this. I really can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Maureen, I didn't know you were going to get hurt or upset. Because you gave the impression that you never cared. One question for you though. Why does it bother you who I'm with? That's how you think that I'm bothered about who you're with. For the absent time came, I don't care. Okay, you don't care. You've let it out, but I just want you to know that that is the girl I am getting married to, okay? And I'm not going to stand and watch you call her names. Neither will I let her go because you're uncomfortable. 
Hey, Ken. Come on, man. You can't. No, 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 no. What's this? Mediator. Behaving like a reasonable person. He doesn't want to stay with her. Leave him alone. Oh, do you think I, I, I want to stay in the same room with you as well? Okay. Um, let's switch rooms. Yeah. I mean, Chooks, you can stay with me so that Tiny can stay with her. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. What do you want to say? Eh? It's not as if we are doing anything bad. Technically, we are going to be staying in the same rooms that were assigned to us. Uh, well, I actually do not have a problem with that. As long as I'm not in the same room with Fred, I'm comfortable with that idea. Okay, guys, can we at least all agree for the sake of peace? Huh? Tiny, my girlfriend is here and I love her so much. But I just want you to know that we make a lot of noise when we're having sex, you know? Ooh, oh, gee, give it to me, baby. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. You can talk to me anytime. So, are you game to stay with me? <laughs> of course. I don't mind. I don't even mind staying in the wardrobe. As long as I don't have to share room with this one. Okay, so... Oh, no, no. Please, 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 just stop talking. Stop it. I mean, who comes up with such rules? Are they trying to get you guys back together? Well, we have told the judge from our end that we have tried and it's not working. I'm so sorry she called you name. Babe, I don't want to lose you, but I'm scared. I think she still loves you because that's the only reason she could have reacted that way. <laughs> Who still loves me? Maureen? Yes. No, listen. We lost our marriage three years ago. Okay? We tried to make it work, but it didn't. I have been in lots of relationships and Maureen is aware of it. Listen, she wants this as much as I do. And I want you to know that you were never our problem. Okay? Come here. I want to go home. It, it just doesn't feel right being here. You want to go home? Yes. But it's sorted out. Why do you have to go home? You don't need to go home. And your agreement with Tiny. Look, babes. It's fine if you stay with her. I just don't want to be the other woman in the picture. Please try and understand me. But we didn't finish getting some. At least you, you, you owe me that. Yes. No way. And you? We will not honey till you return. You're going to leave me honey? Mm -hmm. Till I return? Mm -hmm. Is that your plan? Mm -hmm. yeah. What if your plan does not fit in my plan? Because if you're leaving me horny, that means you're not giving me some. My wife obviously is not giving me some. That means I have to get it somewhere. What if that is my plan? <laughs> Do you still love him? No. Then why are you so hurt? Like I said, it's just disrespectful, okay? I'm a marriage counselor, right? I know, I understand. Is all this happening to me? I'm just the vice of the devil trying to destroy me as a person, my faith in God and my reputation. I will not let it happen. It will not work. The truth is, you are not going to care if you truly do not care. 
I truly do not care. Why? What? Why do you not care? Any kids? Yes. Is he a good father? He's a great father. A not so great husband, obviously. You know, I can't, I can't point a finger as to why we're fighting. But anytime I'm around this man, I get this, ugh, this bad energy. And I want to stay far away from it. There's been too much nasty fights. And too many hurtful things have been said. I'm sick and tired of it. Oh, maybe that is why the judge believes there is hope for you. Hope? <laughs> That's because he doesn't live with us. For three years, Ken and I haven't had sex. So there's no hope here, okay? None whatsoever. <sighs> is that what you call marriage? Wow, three years. What went wrong? My wife wouldn't let me touch her. We tried so many times and it was horrible. Even with lubricant, my so-called wife was dry. Oh, wow. Yeah, and frustration set in. I told her I was tired. I couldn't take it anymore. And that I was getting a girlfriend. Mm. And then she comes up to me to tell me I should consider the marriage over. And it's been three years and that stupid just two things there's hope. Oh, bless you. Did, did you ask her what happened? Yeah. There was always the excuse of how tired she was and how the kids were taking up space. It was just one excuse or the other. Oh. I'll tell you what. You know, when a woman starts behaving like this, it's probably because she doesn't find you attractive anymore. Exactly my point. See, I am a one-woman man. And if my wife is not going to make it available, the best thing to do is to move on. <sighs> this thing called marriage. This thing called marriage. You have been visibly sad. Do you miss her? I can't get past the thought of a partner who totally frustrates you and then turns around to play the victim. It's indeed about her. Wait. Do you still love her? Honestly, I don't know. Are you serious? Why don't you just tell her how you feel? Sometimes love is not enough. He still loves you. Tema, didn't he also tell you that love is not enough? Tiny, you earn more than him. You're the head representative of an oil and gas company. And aside all the businesses, yet you still watch him work as a cashier in a company so that you can call him a loser for that. Is that what he told you? Did he lie? I don't know why Jigs is having this conversation with you. We both know there's nothing here. It's over. I mean, maybe he's just telling you to gain your sympathy or to buy your sympathy. And from what I see, he's already bought it. Why couldn't you get him a job at your own firm? First of all, Shooks has a big ego. I know you don't know this part, but he doesn't want to walk under me. Ha <laughs> 
I can see that this switch is working perfectly well for some of us. Lots of smiles, excitement here and there. It's cool. Good. Hi, beautiful. Hey, you look happy and um, it's obvious someone didn't kill you with prayers. What do you mean kill me with your prayers? Not at all. We even prayed together. Really? Yes. Tamara, your man seems like a really nice man. You know, is it to talk to? Prayerful? and has a good sense of humor. So, what went wrong? If you're passionate about him, why don't you just um, go ahead and move on with him? Come on, Tamara, don't be like that. I mean, we shared a shoulder together yesterday. And after we've been through, after all we've been through, the last thing I want for us to fight over a man. I really hate it when people say good things about him. So what happened? I want to hear from you before asking him. I used to be a good woman that loves God. Until he took everything away from me. Do you have kids? Yes. Two. I don't have any child. And I don't have a man. Hello, <sighs> This whole thing is a bad idea. No, it's not. You have to tell him. Even if it's the, the last real conversation you both have, he deserves to know. Please. He deserves to know what? Um, excuse me, Oh, no. Don't go. Please stay. What is this? What is this? My reality. <laughs> when? How? After we lost our child. I know we're making countless effort to get pregnant again and it wasn't working. I had to take a series of tests to find out what the problem was. And I found out I had an injury after childbirth and I had uterine prolapse. No. Oh my god, oh my god. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Why did you not tell me? Well, if I had my child in my hand, I'm sure all of these things 
will not be happening, Annie. Oh my God. This is why you were so sad. This is why you were bitter. Oh my God. What kind of a God will watch you and ask you lose your child just to please him? I blame you, Fred. Fred, I blame you. You... You had the opportunity, but, but then you just... You, you ignored me. You were focused on the church. It's about God. It's about the Bible. It's about the church, your pastors, everything. You ignored me. I served this God wholeheartedly. I gave everything. I gave my time. I went for weekly services. I went for daily services. I went for Sunday schools. I go early to church. Sometimes I go to clean the church. And then all my sacrifices to just go just, just put it right back in my face. After everything we did, after everything we did, did my sacrifice enough? Was it not enough? Was it not enough? enough? <laughs> you had the opportunity, but you wanted. You gave your time. Okay? So you gave everything to your pastors. You gave your money. You gave your time. You sacrificed everything. You even sacrificed the time you were supposed to spend with me. You were not even concentrated. You were not thinking about me. What was I supposed to do? I said, this is good now. I get this good everything. And then this girl just failed me. He just destroyed the essence of me being a woman. I was destroyed. I was broken. I was just broken. <laughs> if I was dying, and they ask you, tell me, if they ask Fred, that his wife is dying, and the pastor calls him. He will choose the pastor over me. He will choose the pastor. Everything is about prayers and fasting. You are always fasting. You are praying. You are on the mountain. You are going to fellowship. You are going to say, Judge Pemba. You are not concerned about your wife. You are not concerned about my needs. You are not concerned about my needs. You are not concerned with things that bothers me. I will not be with a man who doesn't want to sacrifice anything for me. The only sense of me being a woman is lost. You are your God to everything you have from me. You are your God to everything from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, babe, please. Even if I want to forgive you, my heart will not let me. I cannot forgive you. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I would be bitter with Fred. After listening to her pains and everything she's been through, I realized that I have nothing to complain about. I have two beautiful children. All I'm losing is a husband. What's my womb? Oh, Fred, I will be crazy, crazy mad at you. How could you? If you can't be a god to your wife and protect her like the Bible says, then please, don't you ever get married again. Oh, because it's all beautiful. Sorry, we talk. Sorry, we just come down. Relax. 
it's okay. Talk to me. What happened? Tema. She's all right, she's all right, she's all right, she's all right. Yeah, but I'm glad you even came. Right. Yeah, because um I wanna ask you, what's up with um Tamara and Fred? She cried herself to sleep. And Fred drank himself to stupor, then slept off. Pastor Fred. <laughs> yes, Pastor Fred. <laughs> Amongst all of us, they're the only ones that are looking like they'll leave here with their marriage intact. How do you mean? They had a heart to heart talk. As heavy as it is to hear what they're going through, I, I'm just glad they had that conversation. Yeah, maybe that's the kind of conversation I need to have with Tiny. You still want your marriage? Well, I would love to hear out. Let her tell me sincerely why she does what she does. Let her tell me sincerely. Why after 12 years of our marriage, I've ended up like this?
Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, just one minute. I've been meaning to ask, what is this? Um, antidepressants. What, you take it every day? What are, what are you anxious about? Antidepressants. You're a good news actor, right? I am. Uh, Oh God, my head aches. Oh, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. It must be the alcohol. I think so. You need to take lots of water before you leave, okay? Mm -hmm. And after that, you'll be fine. Okay? Here. Have some. Thank you. Okay. All right, so drink up and let's go for our meeting. All right. Come. All right. We even called this meeting. Chicks and I. What's going on? It's nothing. He just wants to speak to his woman. <sighs> Must everyone be there? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not because I'm having a hangover now. I just, I don't think I'm ready to face Tama. I don't think I can stand her, her stare. Can you help me check up on her, please? Hmm, come on, Fred. If you feel she needs to be checked on, then I suggest you do it yourself. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> come on, let's go. Yes. Wait, hold on. Are you aware that this room has a side effect? What? You know, seeing, it is pointless right now. Fred, I don't care if it is the pill or not. I have moved on. Okay, guys, I called for this meeting because... Sorry, Chooks. Sorry. <clears throat> Tama. I know I have disappointed you. And let you down. As a husband, I have failed you. And I'm sorry. All this why you were mad and I didn't even know why. Thereby making your actions to turn into frustration. I'm sorry. I'm begging you right in front of everyone to please, please forgive me. I actually feel better that I was able to pour out my mind. But I honestly didn't do it because I want you to ask for my forgiveness. How can I get past this whole thing? This is toxic. I want babies. I want children. And I'm going to be so sad. It will make your life miserable. Just let me just move on and start again. Start afresh. What's better, man, to be with 
than the one who has taken full responsibility for his actions. Tama, please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. We can start afresh. I am willing to start afresh. Okay, I'll start afresh. Let's just keep the past in the past. I know healing from your heart will take, to take a while. And I'm willing to wait. As long as it takes, I will wait. Okay, I, I want to be that man you fell in love with. We can adopt kids, we, we can build, build a family. Please. All I'm asking for, just let me serve God. Because I love Him. I know He has taken so much, so much from us. But I can't stay mad at Him. It's okay, friend. You can serve your God. I'll just need a little time to come around. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Might have been the pills. Fred thinks it might have been the pills. What am I supposed to say? I I, I, I don't know. Just to <sighs> probably let you know that this wasn't your fault. All the sleepless nights. Moments I had to take the blame and call the names. It's suddenly the pills. Are we going to blame this on the pills? Wait, 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 sorry. What pills are these? <sighs> Anti-anxiety pills. Our sex life has been really horrible. Uh, you know, I, I hear those pills actually affect the libido. Thanks for the heads up. You everything I touch you never were And nothing like I touch you could have been But still you live inside of me so tell me how is that You're the only one I wish I could forget The only one I love to not forgive And though you break my heart You're the only one And though there are times where I hate you Cause I can't erase The times that you hurt me And put tears on my face And even now why I hate you. It pains me to say I know I'll be there at the end of the day. Hey, I don't wanna be without you, babe. I don't want a broken heart. Don't wanna take a breath without you, babe. I don't wanna play the part. I know that I love you, but let me just say.
So, since everyone is occupied, I was hoping that we can just come here and chill until everything gets back to normal. Hmm. You know what? This was a bad idea. I'll be at the bar. No, 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 no. Please. Please. I promise I'll not disturb you if that's the problem. Please, just stay. <laughs> Truce. I hope all the reunions and apologies isn't beginning to get to you. Because you and I know that between us, there's nothing here. Actually, it is. <laughs> no, 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 please now, come on. Why are you always running? I was hoping that since you said there's nothing here, you can be civil enough to tell me the real reason you're always irritated, mad and angry at me. Really? It was a Is this the part where I'm at to leave? You complicate everything. I don't even know what to call this. The wrap up sex? After four years of telling me you feel nothing for me. Maureen, it took me a while. That meant years to find someone to love me. Someone who is willing to be with me. And you sit here and, 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 and you try to make things work? After one year, three months of being in court? What changed? I don't know. Don't take me back to when you don't know what changed. I am done being miserable. <laughs> Listen, Ken, this is not a hit of the, the passion moment for me. This is me trying to make things work. Mm -hmm.
trying to make things work, you say? Are you serious? I can't break up with her. I love her. I built something real. We had all the time to make things work, but you weren't. I begged you night after night, but you were so adamant on leaving. I'm sorry. I was afraid something was wrong with me. And I said to myself, if, if I wasn't giving him some, then he could be getting it from outside. Then came the accusations, the tantrums, the public fight of being called a dog. This is not all on me, Ken. Who started it? Look, I am not about to have an argument. Moving on to something new is usually the easy way out. But kid, I never stopped loving you. I never stopped. And even though I felt that giving you a divorce was the appropriate thing to do, I still never stopped loving you. gentlemen you have come to the end of this getaway retreat from the report before me both of you have agreed to go your separate ways and um, I wish you all the best of luck in your separate endeavors and then hopefully we don't meet under these circumstances anymore to the end of this getaway and then from the report I have here uh, you both have agreed to s separate we are not having a divorce I don't understand I've never been married, but I'm a counselor. <laughs> ah, cheers to you too.
Um, Tanya, I think this is a big mistake. I mean, going back the same route, same mistake we made before. No, come on, Tanya. Yes. Tiny, tiny, come on, say something. You can't do this to me. The least you can do is say something at least. Okay. I got fat, she stopped loving me. End of discussion. You got fat, but I did not stop loving you, Tiny. <laughs> Chooks, everybody has their family's back, so suddenly he wants yours. You and I know that a trip to this town <laughs> is not going to sort us out. Our issues are deeply rooted, you know it. Oh wow, so that's what it is, yeah? It's always been about the money. The fact that you earn more money than me. I've always been a loser to you, Tiny. Chooks, I don't think Tiny is materialistic. That's the problem. Every single thing that concerns you and I, you attach it to money. I smile, money, I'm angry, money, everything I do, money. Wait, wait so Tiny, I disappoint you, right? Say it, I disappoint you. Yes, Chooks, you disappoint me. But not in ways that you think. I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. It's, it's really tiring being married to a man that is not fulfilled and happy. I'm the one who's dealing with it. You are having a bad day. I'm responsible for it. Something goes wrong. You blame me for it. I'm tired. So that's it. You never stop rubbing this thing in my face. Chooks, what's there to rub? It's a statement of fact. I make more. Deal with it. No! This is not the woman I married. Tiny, no! I married an adorable woman. I married a caring woman. I did not pick you up on the streets and propose to you, Tiny. No! Come on! I don't... You, you, you really want to do this right now? Everyone says, Oh, Tiny, you're more successful. Why are you not helping your husband? Right? What tricks do you listen? You don't. Do you listen to any advice I give you? You and I planned a business together. What happened? I sold the house that my father bought me. I sold it and I gave you the money. What do you do with it? You went and, 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 and chose to invest that money without asking me. And you had the guts to lose the money. All of it. But that's not even what hurts me the most. You walk into me and you talk to me like that money means nothing. Telling me, oh, we're going to make you back. We're going to make you back. Do you know how hard I worked to get that money? I lost my father's house and you were not remorseful. Tiny, you look at me and say this. For real? After what I've been through, Tiny, I almost committed suicide twice. Exactly. Twice. I knew you were going to say that. You almost committed suicide because of your ego, because you were too embarrassed that you lost that money. That's why you tried to commit suicide. What are we fucking competing for? You're my husband. You don't have to compete with me. We have to be on the same page. And I am tired of being married to a man who constantly has to compete with me. Okay? Lagos was never going to fix it. It only takes a willing heart to fix this. Tiny, I am. I'm hundred percent sure that I want this to work. You know, I I really do. But I can't do this alone. I can't. I I want you to to come on this journey with me, Tiny. Please, just um, promise me. Please tell me that that you're willing to do this with me. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other? Is there any other thing you're mad about? You have everything I touch, you never were. And nothing like I touch, you could have been. But still, you live inside of me. So tell me how is that? You're the tell only one I wish I could forget. Tell me. I was your husband. 
I'm your husband, then I want to remain your husband. Please. I don't want to lose you. I think maybe you should continue seeing the therapist. Yeah. Just set the divorce aside for now. Okay. <laughs> you better get so you can be soft, right? yeah. I don't want to play the part. I know that I love you, but let me just say I don't want to love you in no kind of way. No more. I want a broken heart. And I don't want to love you. Okay. I'm going to take tips from you, you know? I know. I'm taking tips from you right now. Bye, princess. I do it right. That was clean. That was clean. I mean, <laughs> that's simply. Well, it's time to go. <laughs>